what's up guys um continuing my uh series here called how to play insert random map so far you've seen me do cage which is a hard map to play and you've seen me do countdown now i'm going to show you how to do the what i consider the third hardest map to play which is pinnacle now um pinnacle's always been a very odd map for me as a, in general because it really relies on teamwork there's really not much to this map as you can see i mean um Basically what happens is you end up getting standoffs between two teams on each side. And uh, whatever team controls the tower to the left over here, the uh, tall tower, I don't know what the proper call out for it is. We'll see when I get over there later what they call it. Um, but uh, whoever controls that usually controls the flow of the game, and that's basically what our team's going to do. So not only is it going to show you a good way to play this map, it's going to show you a good way to work as a team and kind of control you know any map but uh, this map in general relies a lot around that uh, control map control which is obviously a uh, very simple tip because if you've played any amount of Halo you know that map control is the most important part of Halo so um, basically what we're doing here is we're kind of they're kind of spread out and we're gonna try to work our way over to this tower by just picking off the stragglers so they don't spawn on top of each other and uh, we finish off that guy here, and we basically have taken over the tower, and we're not going to give it up for a while. Um, we assign each other each like little section. So right now, I'm controlling the bottom half. Uh, even though I'm controlling the bottom half, if I feel like I'm go getting outmanned, a lot of times uh, we'll, we'll just be like, hey, we need you to drop down and finish them off, help us out, or whatever. So team communication is very important. I'm running with three people and one random in this team, but the random was talking, so it wasn't that big of a deal. And he was pretty good, actually, so... That was uh, pretty nice of him uh, to be good, I guess. I don't know. That really didn't make sense. But um, <laughs> as you see, uh, I've started the game 5-0, and basically using the most simple tactics you can think of, just playing, pre playing, playing pretty conservatively, but at the same time pushing their spawns and just kind of making, making them come to me and uh, controlling the flow of the map. So uh, right now we've got them spawned where we like them to spawn. Um, once you can get them trapped over there and kind of sandwiched in, like... The three people that are in my party are on this tower right now, and the one random was over there. Um, he kind of was con keeping that section, you know, walled off from them so they didn't work their way up here while we can, as you see him, run in front of me. But I'm able to get the double melee, one of the uh, downfalls of this uh, of Halo Reach. But um, we're basically pushing them over there. I'm getting shots on them with my BR from afar. It doesn't really matter if you kill them. A lot of people think just because... Uh, a lot of people think that just getting shots on them isn't a big deal because they can just hide behind cover but that's really not the case even if they hide behind cover at least you've got something on them to where you can kind of uh see like right there i didn't get the kill but i weakened the shields and my my uh, teammate was able to finish them off that's really important because even if you don't get the kill getting their shields down and allowing your other team or your teammate to get the kill is very important i mean i know this is basic basic advice i <laughs> It probably sounds like I'm trying to teach a 10-year-old how to play this game, but it's, sometimes a lot of people overlook that, and they just go rando, Rambo on people, and that's really not the good a good play style to take you know take into a Halo game because Halo is a more of a team-based game. I don't know. As you see, I just got my 10 kill streak there. Um, right now, I'm 10 and 0. I think. Yeah, I haven't died, but. Um, as you, I mean, it's pretty simple, pretty self-explanatory. I'm just controlling this tower over here. We're working it. We're making them come to us. Um, one thing I have noticed that I don't like about Reach, I think I just I just touched on it, is the double melee. I think I've talked about it in every one of my videos. But the problem is, is uh, especially in close combat, it almost behooves a person to like sprint towards someone and then hit the double melee. Actually, I had a comment from, uh, as you see, my teammate kill me there, but that's all right. I had a comment from... Um, some one of my uh, watchers or just you know someone who randomly stumbled on my video that the best strategy he suggests that in close combat dmr situations that you don't try to shoot someone you, you should sprint in and double melee um <laughs> this made me laugh because it just shows like kind of how broken this uh setup kind of kind of has become um it doesn't really bother me a whole lot because if you have good gun skill you can usually get the person weak enough to where you can train yourself if he's charging at you you can get your th your four dmr shots in get his shield down and as he charges at you you just melee him that's usually my strategy for people who like to do that there's a few people in this game who were uh what i like to call kamikaze players um what a kamikaze player does is they don't really care about you know a kill per se they care more about just running in there like this guy right here 
He keeps running in. He's more worried about getting the stick and, you know, he doesn't care if he dies. He's just trying to go one for one, basically. Those are uh, those are what I like to call kamikaze players. Um, what, a lot of times if a game is about to end and I know that all we need is one kill, I'll go into that mindset and kind of do the kamikaze type gameplay. But uh, when you're trailing and you're just going one for one, it's not really going to help your team. In fact, those are the kind of people I don't like on my team. Um, I prefer someone who would stick with their teammates and just kind of try to try to break or kind of try to get back into the game instead of just go tit for tat on kills. But as you see, we've kind of moved over here to the to the pillar is what it's called on here. Um, I think it's top pillar is where I was at, and right now I'm on bottom pillar. Um, that's just what we call it. it doesn't really change uh, the call outs on the, bo on the bottom left corner or anything but that's what I call it just to let people know where we're at but uh, you see there our team our team's telling me right now that they want to push back over to the uh, big tower over there but uh, basically I am kind of stuck over here so what we have to do is just work with what we got um, I'm not really in a good situation right now see I was out man there Thank thankfully he uh, pummeled his own teammate got me a free kill but uh, I was outmanned over there basically because all their teams, all their teammates were spawning on that spot, and I was, you know, just caught without my team by myself because all my team was over at the big pillar. So that's one thing you want to av avoid is getting away from your team. But uh, I think we did a pretty good job of controlling this map as a, as a whole because, as you see, they're throwing grenades at us. <laughs> That random, um, that random on our team liked to throw grenades, but he was pretty good with the gun. I'll give him that. But uh, they right now they've taken over control of the top tower, and we're just going to try to push back in here. I think I just get a tit for tat kill there. That's what I'm kind of talking about. Um, I wasn't expecting to live. It was kind of more of a suicide mission because when I play this, I don't really care a whole lot about my KD. I mean, this is a Slayer game type, but I, like I said, I really just want to. Uh, I just really wanted to get the game over with. I guess you could say because uh, we were leading so heavily. But, oh man, this is a fun game to play. Um, when you work as a team, it really it really makes the uh, whole Halo experience a lot more enjoyable. That's why I never play Halo by myself, just because it seems so frustrating. Um, a lot of times you'll, uh, you get in the lobbies where people just want to ride the mongoose or, uh, you know, it'll be team snipers and, uh, They'll want to ride the mongoose, which I think is annoying. But, uh, all right. Well, this is winding down, and I kind of ran out of things to say, and I'm kind of rambling. So uh, I'll let you go. But this was a good way to play Pinnacle. Um, it's a frustrating map, but uh, I think we did a pretty good job of controlling it. And I will see you guys next time. Peace.